Hello guys, today we're back looking at the Mercedes Actros truck. In the last video we installed the steering servo and the fifth wheel servo. So in today's video we're going to add in our little control board and just check that we can control all of this stuff before we put the time into adding the LEDs to it. To mount our control board in the truck this time we are going to use one of the new boards that we designed uh, a couple of weeks ago so this is our new PCB which is a single motor driver and that's going to work with our version 4.1 board which we uh, need because the battery here is going to be over 5 volts when it's fully charged so we have to use the version 4.1 which has an LM1117-3.3 uh, voltage regulator and that's probably good to maybe 12 volts something like that so we just got this board in from our sponsor PCBWay and this will be the first time we're trying it out if you don't know already PCBWay are a low cost manufacturer of PCBs you can pretty much get any kind of a PCB design that you have created by PCBWay you can get unpopulated boards you can get assembled boards you can get multi-layer boards flexible boards pretty much anything you could possibly need you can get it and on top of that it costs very little and you're going to get your PCBs in a couple of days so you can't really go wrong so first thing we need to do is assemble up this uh, board get the components on it and then we can mount it into our vehicle and see if it's going to work Here's the board that I soldered up there and you can see here I added this orange wire that's because when I designed the board I picked a PWM pin for the version 4.2 controller so I should have picked one that's shared by both um, the version 4.1 and 4.2 so what happened here is on the 4.2 the pin that I selected is PWM but on the 4.1 it's not a PWM and that's one of the reasons why we why we created a version 4.2 to get those extra PWMs but I should have picked either pin 5 or 6 which is just below it and uh, those pins are shared by both controllers so what I've done here is just swapped the wire I've, I've cut the trace and connected the wire to pin 6 pin 6 there and then I spent about an hour trying to figure out why this wasn't working and in the end I just made up another board and this one worked perfectly straight away so I think because I was trying to solder this from way behind the camera and it was pretty difficult maybe I overheated something on the chip or the motor driver chip so possibly I damaged that one that way but this one works perfectly so we'll be using this one ok well here we have it uh, hooked up just to demonstrate should have our we certainly have more speed control than we previously did still kind of quick uh, we'll try switch to a lower gear but I don't think it's gonna make much difference that's about as slow as we can make it it, it would certainly be a lot more controllable than it previously was anyway because previously it was at full speed put it back to top speed top gear whatever you'd want to call it and then so we don't seem to have any noise issues like we did with the uh, that Chinese John Deere tractor that we made so this seems to be working pretty fine we'll mount the board on the front here and then we'll hook up our servos just check that they're working as well we'll hook up our power switch 
and we'll just test that all of that stuff is working and if that's fine we'll move on to the lights probably in the in the next episode okay so what I've done here I've just soldered on the two wires for the motor uh, the drive motor on the body here just this is where the steering motor used to be so obviously that's gone I've just drilled two holes in the top here and mounted this little piece of FR4 so that I can screw this uh, motor driver board on and our actual control board will protrude towards the rear because in front of this is where the cab comes down so this lip here is pretty much just right here so we can't have the radio sticking out that way it just won't work but putting it back this way shouldn't be a problem we've loads of space in the cab um, the whole way down to that uh, speaker down there no problem so all we really need to do is make sure that the, the antenna is sticking towards the rear that's the drive motor on so now we have our battery wire coming up to the switch here and this is our power coming back so we'll have to splice in a few extra grounds here for our two servos so we need to connect them up we also need another ground to go up to the cab and another positive to go up to the cab for the LEDs so next thing to do is splice in all these wires so that our power switch sends power to all these various components ok guys we have all wired up here have the controller mounted on here so we can easily just pull it off go and program it and plug it back in so that's no problem we're hooked up to our power switch on the front here so that's working servos are wired in I joined all the grounds here and I have this spare wire that we'll bring up to the cab when we need that and that's all that's on the base of this really so if we power it up our steering is working fine and we have speed control probably could do it uh, a slightly lower gear but it is what it is so we'll not worry about it too much seems to be a little quicker in reverse for some reason but it's working that's the main thing so the final thing we're going to look at in this video is the fifth wheel so I'm going to put the body back on and we'll take a look at the parts that I 3D printed for that well actually there's one part here this is the little arm that goes on the servo itself I 3D printed this small little hook so I am thinking what I'll do is put the screw through here and just glue it to the top of the arm there because there's not a huge amount of material on the side here so I could see it breaking pretty easily after you know if it had to pull a, a heavy enough trailer so I think I'll try and glue these two pieces together and just that should give it a little bit more strength I think okay I have to cover back on here and um, power it up so we're connected which means we should have control of our fifth wheel servo here so we can move that around and this is the 3d printed part just a simple sort of a fifth wheel type of thing put this in here it's gonna be a little high until we screw the servo down in place but I just want to get an idea of the position I'll try one more over well, that's too far for sure Probably the same place I just had it. Get it out one more if I can. We can always adjust it with the software if we have to. That's probably not bad. You can see the the central open for pin there. I'm trying to get it lined up on the camera. So hopefully you can see that on the camera. 
I think that's the right position so I'll push the screw in there and I'll get the two M2 bolts for here and we'll just see how it works with the trailer okay well there it is with the two screws just plastic screws so I didn't tighten it too hard don't want to uh, to break the treads on either the part that I've glued in there or the the bolt itself since they're the bolt plastic so let's get a trailer and just try it well it's pretty hard to see in there and um, I'm not sure if you can see but the hook is open there at the minute it's kind of same color as the fifth wheel so it's hard to see it locked on locked on the pin so it's probably a little too tight so a little hard to see but let's just see how does it drive Looks like reverse isn't slow enough to actually catch the trailer. That's it locked as far as I can see there. So it's just Well, the trailer doesn't seem to be coming out too handy, so what more do you want really? Yeah, the hook, it's on. I'll probably do it a slightly longer hook. I don't think it's going to come out without pulling the servo uh, round a little, but I could probably do it being increased slightly. Well, it looks like um, it's working, but I'm not sure if the trailer is lifting the truck off the ground. There's, it is very like this plastic model, so I guess. Uh, oh, it's the fifth wheel, I think, actually. The hook is slightly lifting the hook on the fifth wheel is slightly lifting the tractor giving it off the, off the bed but anyway they, that doesn't really matter we might have to make another hook but we can do that we'll uh, we'll wait and try it out properly on the diorama first so that seems to be working all right but we'll have to wait and just try it out on the diorama to get a, an idea of how it's working properly so one last thing that i have i also 3d printed a clever hitch for the back of the truck as well that's one thing that the Scania has and it's very handy you can pull any trailer then so by pure fluke you can see the width of this I didn't actually measure this this is the this is the clevis hitch from the man truck all I did was cut this top notch out of it and extend this piece on another two millimeters and it just happens to work out exactly the same width as this piece on the top that looks pretty perfectly, I just need to drill two holes here and screw that in place and then we'll have a clever hitch on this truck as well so we'll be able to pull any trailer that we want and that won't interfere with uh, the trailers, the arctic trailers either so that seems to be a pretty good solution so there you have it, we've uh, got another little piece done on our model here the next thing we're going to take a look at is our LED lights so uh, we're going to put a few spotlights on it and get proper indicators and brake lights, reverse lights, all of that sort of stuff working. 
So, if you're enjoying the build so far, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, make sure and hit subscribe and get the bell on, all that stuff helps a lot. We're fairly close to the end of this build now, so make sure and keep tuned in so that you don't miss out the end of it. And we're going to have a slightly separate uh, build as well of the trailer for this tractor unit. Um, we'll, I'll probably do it two ways. I'm going to ultimately have it with wires so that I can control it from any of the tractors or any of the trucks. But I'll show you how to do it wirelessly as well, just so that you yeah, see both options. But anyway, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching.